Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys. Happy Saturday. I hope everybody is doing well after everything that's been going on in the sky. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. On the masculine side, we have Lady Nada, Heart Awakening, Awaken to Acceptance and Divine Love, Give and Receive in Balance. Okay, so I'll read that card in just a minute. And for the Divine Feminines, whoa. I swear I just saw one fly over there. Okay, so I see Kalima, Facing Fear, Major Spiritual Changes are Unfolding, This is Your Chance to Soar. Okay, so rising above whatever is going on right now. I swear I saw one fly, but maybe not. All right, and then Mercury, open communication. Get a weight off of your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. I feel like, you guys, because I am seeing this as being the masculine in the center and the cards are matching, okay? I want to say that the masculine is definitely wanting to speak with the feminine, okay? Mercury is asking you guys to, whatever is on your chest, get it off your chest, you know? Um, holding on to it. It. like whenever it's always time for us to make a decision um, we get anxiety all the way up until the point where we finally just speak it into existence and then we're like oh, okay that took a weight off my shoulder because I fear a lot of the time you know it has a lot to do with rejection and fear of somebody telling you no so we tend not to say anything at all but then not saying anything at all uh, ends up bringing us anxiety on top of it. So it's like, it's kind of a catch 22. So the best thing to do is just speak up. And I feel like, uh, the open communication lines between the two of you, because I, I mean, there's a reason why you're here It's because there is no communication, but I am seeing communication coming in. That's the overall energy. Um, and this, somebody here is wanting to talk. And I think the two of you guys, because it's right in the middle, I think you both want to talk. Um, Mercury, let's, let's read this card, okay? All right. It says, Mercury is the Roman god of messages and communication. In Greek mythology, he is known as Hermes. He has often been depicted with wings on his feet, representing his capacity to be swift and carrying a caduceus, the same healing wand that Archangel Raphael is known to carry. As well as overseeing communication, he oversees the planet Mercury. When this goes retrograde, which means it appears to go backwards when seen from the Earth, communication can be delayed or difficult. We can call on Mercury for help with loving, honest, and open conversations. Divination and any form of expressive art, such as writing, poetry, and journalism. He can also help us heal miscommunications that have caused distress. Funny enough, you guys, today we go into Mercury shadow, okay? So we actually go into a full Mercury in retrograde on the 30th of this month, and then it goes throughout, you know, the middle of February, and then we come out of shadow, and you guys know the drill. Um, open all levels of communication now. Like, so anything, you know, somebody can like come in now up until the 30th and want to talk about something and then you guys need to go back over it and then there's a solution. It's a three times over when it's a Mercury in retrograde. But again, Mercury when it's in retrograde can also be the trickster, okay? So it can play tricks on you. It can bring X's back and then it bring, causes a lot of confusion. Um, you know, even in Mercury shadow, it can bring X's back. So, you know, keep that in the back of your guys' mind. Um, yeah, open all levels of communication now. Important messages, information, and insights are being shared. You may hear from an old friend or family member or have an opportunity to finally understand a loved one you've not had an easy time with. You may be able to clarify situations where you feel you weren't heard properly or were misunderstood. Get things off your chest in a loving way so that you can clear all the roads to love in your life. Listen to. Communication is a two-way street. 
Mercury is here now to allow you to hear clearly and be heard. So it can give you an opportunity to, you know, rekindle relationships from the past, but you have to take them very slowly. You know, if people come back in, it's a matter of, uh, you know, listening. But again, like I said, it's a three times over. Uh, Lady Nada for the masculine side. Um, there it is. No, that's Lady Portia. All right. So Lady Nada is said to be another incarnation of Mother Magdalene, but even if she is, the energies are slightly different. Lady Nada is a mighty spiritual priestess of love who once existed in the land of Atlantis. And right now, you guys, Atlantis is being activated. Okay. And that's what's been going on now, you know, for like the last year with everything going on in the world. It's because, I, and do your research on Atlantis. I'm not going to get into that right now. Okay. Um, so Lady Nada is a mighty spiritual priestess of love who once existed in the land of Atlantis. She is the light force that helps us awaken our heart to the divine love we deserve. The light keeper whose essence allows the light within our heart to expand, revealing a true, real, naked and vulnerable aspect of our soul. She brings an opportunity to experience divine love, whether through a relationship, adventure or an experience. The cave of your heart is opening wide for you to experience divine love. Yes, and he's wanting to communicate. You have an opportunity to overcome past pain, heartbreak, and letdowns. This is a wonderful time to cherish and love yourself and then allow yourself to be cherished and loved by others. If you feel love revealing itself clearly in your heart, have courage and move into a state of trust. You are reminded that when true love is present, when divine love is present, there are no obstacles to overcome. It will be there clear, pure, and real for you to experience. Your relationships are being brought into harmony on all levels of your life. Give and receive divine love with yourself and all those around you. So I feel like the masculines are starting to soften up around their heart center and you know they're wanting to communicate. Look, she's got the rose in front of her heart and he's got the the merc you know the sign of Mercury in front of his, okay, which is the wings of communication. So for a lot of you you could be seeing or hearing from this person, you know, coming into the Mercury in retrograde. Um uh, let's read for the feminines. So feminines, major spiritual, spiritual changes are unfolding and this is your chance to soar. Kalima is the Hindu goddess of death and rebirth. She brings old cycles to an end so that we can experience transformation. She is a strong, fierce, fiery, and powerful image of the divine feminine. <clears throat> Many have been intimidated by her. But she is a mother energy and therefore completely loving. She's like a fierce mother protecting her child from harm. She has a dark energy like the night sky, but it consumes fear and leaves only love. She is the twin flame of the god Shiva and has even been known to slay his ego so that he can reveal his true loving self. And I feel like that's what the feminines have done is slayed the fear that the masculines and, and showed the masculines the way. And I feel like the masculines have been watching what the feminines have been doing. This is a time when you are able to look fear into the eye and move away from it. Fear is just an energy and an energy that can be changed. This can be an intense experience because the human self is so conditioned that it may be used to operating with fear present. When the fear is gone, it may feel as though an emptiness is there, but this is space for love and miracles to enter. You are being filled with the courage of spirit now that you can move from the phase of your life to the next. Trust the process and call on Kalima to help you release your fear and step into a space that's strong, focused, and courageous. And I mean, look at the difference. The masculines are like softening up and softening around their heart space. And then you've got the feminines who are just fierce and warrior spirits. And it's like, and then in between them, it's like this needing to communicate. And I feel like the masculines see that the feminines, you know, they're the type of person that the masculines can go into war with and know that the, everything is protected you know, which is a beautiful space, but, you know, um, 
I think that for the feminines, you know, if you do have children, you're fearing, you know, and, and you're trying to be the best parent that you can be. And I feel like you nurture a lot of different people. I don't even think that it's your own children. I feel like it's just in the form of the people that you come into uh, surrounding with. And I feel like because of that, the masculine has this, there's this softness in their heart when they think of you. And it's like, knowing that they're safe knowing that they're safe because i think that with the the masculines in the past because of their own upbringing and you know maybe the feminines in their life you know and it doesn't matter if you take the masculine or the feminine role i don't think that the masculine obviously you know they've been in that distorted energy where they've never felt protected they've never felt that type of love before so Spirit, please show me the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine for this week, this next week. Spirit, please show me the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Okay. They see how devoted you've been to them while they've been doing their shadow work. So it's like they, you guys are both in a place of solitude. And I feel like, you know, you're both very devoted to this uh, to this relationship very devoted and I feel like what sits, sits between the two of you in this devotion is needing to do the shadow work you know we've all been needing to do that and I feel like that's the communication that needs to come in this person wants to tell you what they've been doing and why they put you on you know put you on the side but it's like I feel like the feminines have been lighting the way for the masculine it's like look look at this there's the candle and yeah it looks like moon energy but it's like they're lighting the way and in the meantime the feminines have just had to turn their back and I say that because it's sitting under the feminine side there's a pause here and again more shadows Spirit, please show me the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Okay. It was a matter of self-worth. Okay. You want me to put that there? Okay. And one more. Because they wanted to know that they weren't going to be settling. They needed to make sure that they were doing all the work so that they weren't settling. They wanted to know that they had free will to do whatever it was because they didn't want to feel bound to anything. They wanted to feel open. And so honestly, they they got a little bit too big for their britches for some of them. They got cocky because they hadn't learned the lesson. For some of you, this person has been reading this book. There's a book. There's a lot of really good books out there self-help books especially when I'm looking at the self-worth a lot of shadow work and it's because this person didn't believe that they were supposed to have something so beautiful they didn't realize that the universe was actually conspiring to give them this because this is what they deserved and so and that's what they needed to see and in the meantime they've been admiring from you from afar they see that you are literally um it's like you're dancing and the whole world is watching. I feel like there are so many people who admire you and because of this, this person wants to make a commitment. They want a commitment right now, but there's a mute. So it's like you may hear from them and then they may kind of like teeter in between. Like they might come in and then it kind of dies out and then they come back. It's like this wave, but this is the brightest card here. Look at this. And this is after. It's like making a commitment to the things that they love. Making a commitment to feeling better about themselves. And I feel like the both of you guys have been doing that. Facing fears. Facing, you know, obstacles. Facing, you know, uh, whatever has been like keeping your heart stuck. And keeping you from embracing true love. Because look. 
here I see the masculine and here I see the feminine. And I feel like the feminines, you have had to do some, you know, self-worth. Still work when it comes to your self-worth. Maybe that has to do something with exercise. Because I do see walking here. So, you know, a lot of the feminines, you know, exercising, feeling better about themselves. Maybe for some of you getting into a dance class. Yes. Yes. Okay. So when I clarify the mute, okay, it comes up with soulmate, mask, and family. This person knows that you're their soulmate. They they know. And they know that they're like they're ready to take this off. They're ready to take off the mask and, and say, like, I want a family with you. Look at this. This person wants to commit to you. This is where, you know, and I keep getting this, this marriage vibe, okay? And I feel like this person is wanting to commit. They're wanting to come in and say, hey, I want this commitment with you. There's a lot of fire, a lot of passion between the two of you. And I feel like no matter what has happened and how much time has come and gone, the fire is still lit between the two of you. I don't think it ever went away. This person wants to grow old with you. But there's still a hold on this. Settling. Yeah. I think it's so that you can learn patience. I think that it's so you can learn patience. And I feel like, you know, this person is helping you avoid a disaster of some of the shit that has been going on in their own personal life. Okay. And maybe there's been some rises and falls in their life as well. Which every one of us have. Especially, you know, since this whole, everything's been going on, you know. So I feel like they're losing patience. I feel like someone here is learn. you know, they've had to learn to have a lot of patience, but they're losing patience. It's like, it's... You know, they've been in solitude long enough and they're tired of settling. But you've got solitude settling and mute. It's like... They want this. But I feel like they're keeping quiet. They need to talk. They need to open up the lines of communication. I feel like this person wants to come out and tell you. First, and it's going to be different on different timelines. Either some of them are going to come back during the Mercury in retrograde or they're going to come back after the Mercury in retrograde. It really depends on where you guys are at in your karma. Because I feel like during the Mercury in retrograde, they're going to get this like, Ugh, I need to speak to this person. I need to. But again, self-worth being the center of the reading, make sure that this person has done their shadow work before they come in. Because if they haven't, this, you know, everything that you're building towards is going to fall over. We don't want that. That's what we're trying to avoid. The masculine is coming in with an open heart and the feminines are going to have to open themselves up. I think that they're going to be afraid when they do hear from the masculine and afraid that the masculine is going to come back in and open up lines of communication, then go mute again. I'll be honest with you, the, that's so that's a big fear for the feminine and they're going to have to face that fear wow okay so I got I'm clarifying commitment you got 
com- communication, fifth dimension, big dreams. So yeah, I think that both of you guys have really big dreams when it comes to one another. And I feel like, you know, you guys are communicating in the fifth dimension. I mean, that is just a given right there. I mean, I can't even make this shit up. And you guys are like speaking through your dreams. I feel like the two of you guys are already committed when it comes to the fifth dimension. Okay. Because again, look at this. It's like, and bringing it into the human realm. It's like one thing to be out there all, you know, in the ethers and stuff but it's another thing to bring it into reality and I feel like you know I think this person is really ready to bring it down into the reality um admired spirit please show me admired yeah mirroring dark night there it is so you know admired here is mirroring one another you guys both needed to go through this go through your dark night of the soul there it is that shadow work that i was talking about and that was the barrier that's what's been keeping the two of you guys apart even though this person is admiring you they're admiring you from the shadows and i think that the both of you guys are mirroring one another you're both keeping an eye on each other even if it is through the dream realm, you know, I mean, I have dreams all the time of this other person and it's like, whoa, you know, and uh, whether you know the person or not, you can still have dreams of this person. I remember having a dream of, you know, someone uh, I didn't move here. I, it was somebody I knew I was going to meet when I got here and I had dreams of him in August and I didn't move here until November. And then I continued to have dreams of this person and then it wasn't, I met him and we were talking one day and he turned around and I literally felt this whoosh of energy just hit me in my face and I was like oh my god it's you and you know and I did I told him all about it you know and probably freaked him out <laughs> you know but I mean it just is we have we have this connection with people and it comes from many 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 lifetimes you know and that's what the fifth dimension is all about and so you can start seeing signs signs of this person long before they even show up through the dreams and look it was across an ocean for you know him and I and ever and then it was I wrote a book you know and I put all the dreams that I had of him in in it and I like I, I ended up giving it to him you know but it, it was all about all the stuff that I continue to see and I actually marked the moon cycles that I was having them in you know so I could backdate it and stuff um so this kind of stuff does happen. So those things are not a coincidence. Pay attention to those things. I'm telling you like the the universe has got um there's there's definitely a, a connection between you and another person and it defies all logic, you know, it's not supposed to, but the ego gets involved, you know, and it's like, oh God, if, you know, if I can't make sense of it, it's got to be the work of the devil or it's got to be something bad. And it's like, actually, no. So usually this person walks away because of their own free will, you know, and you cannot hold on to this person, you know, and you don't want to anyway. Again, it's all about the timing. And again, it comes back to self-worth issues. You've got to love yourself enough to, to break free from anybody who is trying to, uh, you know, keep you on the fence. It's time to move forward. So I feel like, you know, opening your heart, you know, the masculine needing to open their heart and realize that they deserve this type of love. Um, you know, but I do feel like this person wants to devote themselves to you. And I feel like the both of you guys do. That's for sure. Self-worth issues. Yeah. Grief, metamorphosis and deception. Yeah. Tricking yourself into believing something that is so untrue and it's caused a lot of sadness. It's like, you don't even want to hear it, you know, in the past, you didn't want to hear it, but you're overcoming that now. You're overcoming the, the, you know, the lies that you've even told yourself or the things that the other person made you believe. And maybe this person was very deceptive because I see here that your soulmate was wearing a false self mask. They said that they didn't want a family with you and really in all actuality they did and they didn't speak up. And there's the deception. Okay. So I feel like there's a lot of healing that needed to be done between the two of you. And again, that goes back to what I was saying earlier, both of you guys mirroring each other. And I feel like this person has been admiring the work that you have been doing. I feel like these, you are being watched. You know, that's what I can say. So with the pause, yeah, compromise, the answer is no and healing. 
So, you know, maybe this person, you know, they weren't willing to compromise. No was no. No was no. They didn't want a relationship and they were telling you, it's because I need to heal. I need to come into alignment with myself. We both need to come into alignment before this can happen. Because, and so it dried up. No more. It's all dried up. Until this, you know, until both of you guys can fully be into alignment and be in a place of love, unconditional love, and open to receiving whatever the universe has to offer. Because, you know, if you're, if you're not coming into it with a wide open space, maybe one of you guys, but both of you guys have to for this to come off the ground, which means both of you guys needed to go through the shadow work. Okay. So what does the masculine want to say to the feminine since Mercury is here? What does the masculine want to say to the feminine? What is going to say to the feminine? I'm going through a lot right now. Yes, okay. That's what we've been talking about. We're all going through a lot. <clears throat> I can feel you pulling away. Have you moved on? Because the feminines are sitting in this place of solitude. You know, they're out doing their thing. They're enjoying their life. Uh, you know, they're hanging out with their friends. They're building communities around themselves. They're not isolating themselves. That's for sure. Uh, not a lot of them anyway. Um, I can't face you right now. Okay. Yeah. That shows here with the mask and them staying in the background and maybe it's things that they're working on with their own family, you know, maybe ending out karmic cycles. Okay. I see myself having kids with you. That's what I just said. You know, you go from here, the two of you, to here's the four of you. So this person is wanting to have a family with you. And for those of you who are not childbearing age, that can mean, you know, just for even fur babies. All right, last cards right here. All right, so I pretend I don't care because I care too much. I've cried over you. And I knew this card was going to come out. I saw it in my mind's eye. I can see signs of you everywhere I go. So I feel like, you know, both of you guys are seeing signs. I feel like, you know, I do feel like the feminines, you're just kind of pulling away. You're not willing to settle. So you're just kind of, you're, you're really on pause right now because everything is coming down your side. Uh, you're on this pause. You're just kind of in this place of like, I'm doing my own thing right now and working on your independence. And I do see that you're enjoying it, but you're also, again, uh, um, you're working on your own shadow work. And I feel like the both of you guys are devoted to, you know, healing, you know, and it doesn't have to be over each other. You're healing over your own, you know, circumstances of the things that the, you guys have been through beyond the two of you guys. And this is what you need to do in order for the two of you guys to be able to come back together. So, you know, it's based on human free will. There's no timing on these readings, especially when the overall energy is free will. Uh, you know, it can take time because again, the devil is right underneath that. So not very far away. And the devil, um, the devil sometimes is too close for comfort and it can be those thoughts that continue to come up like, yeah, I want it. No, I don't. Because I do talk about balance when it comes to up here and it says, um, awaken to acceptance and divine love, give and receive in balance. Okay. So, and don't forget this one is major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. So for a lot of you feminines, again, you're working on businesses, you're working on your independence, you're working on your finances, you know, you're working on your solitude, you're working on uh, your shadow work, you're working on your family, you're working on all these things. You guys are freaking warriors, ladies and gentlemen, you know, keep it up, keep doing what you're doing, keep healing so that you guys can come into union. I'm telling you, you guys, this journey is not easy it's very painful and it brings up a lot of things uh, and at any point in time again you do have free will you can jump off this journey and go back and just you know I don't want to say settle but you can go back to a soulmate or you can continue continue on the divine masculine divine feminine twin flame journey anyway you guys I love you very much thank you for being here thank you for watching uh, please don't forget I also do divine masculine feminine readings throughout the week I now just started the Virgo vibe also so, so you Virgos out there, I am doing love readings and I'm doing uh, just daily readings in general. I'm a Virgo, six placements Virgo. And so uh, nobody knows a Virgo like a Virgo. Anyway, and I love you guys and I hope you have a beautiful week. Take care. Bye.